Alright, peace. I don't know. Think of a guy I know today. I'll just be on the go. Today is August 28th. 129, basically 130 in the PM. Today is Sunday. I know a lot of people, most people go to church on Sunday. Getting their praise on. Me, I get my praise on every day, so it is what it is. So, I ain't doing nothing. Well, I done did stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm resting now. I'm taking a break. And I'm here to show y'all what I done did today. What we do yesterday? Yesterday, Saturday, August 27, we went to uh, Golden Corral. I think that was my first time going to Golden Corral. Y'all, y'all. I liked it. The food was delish. But I can't be doing all you can eat buffets. That and me. I told the hubby, I said, well, that was nice, and but I don't think I'll be going back. I'm like, because that's like a spirit of gluttony, y'all. They know you can't eat that much. You know, my, I, I still got gas from yesterday. I'm like, really? What I had, I was, I had some, I wanted some fried chicken, so I ate some fried, I haven't had no fried chicken in a long time. Fried chicken, I had some cornbread. The onions and bell pepper, I ate a lot of that. It was good. And the Italian sausage, I had, they had the Italian sausage chopped up like this. So you put it together, I probably had one Italian sausage. And I had some pot roast. That pot roast was real good. And I had some, um, what else I had? I'm trying to see what side I had. Rice, macaroni, cabbage. I don't remember y'all. But I had one side. I ain't really eat one. And then I had some cheesecake for dessert. And so it was good though. That was my first time going. It was decent and stuff. But that probably be my last time because that's too much food. I mean. Mm -mm. It ain't for me. So yeah, that's what I did yesterday. And um and then we went shopping. We got some stuff. My uh, my uh, child number two, she was with us, so she wanted to stop at Walmart out there. We got some stuff. I don't think we got in. It's about like, I think we left around one. We got back around six, fifteen, something like that. Yeah, so we was kind of out for a while. And um, stayed up and watched the Vikings. That's a really good show. I really, really like that show. We've been binge watching that. It's four seasons, and we just started watching it, and we almost through. We own the fourth season already. We just done kicked Criminal Minds to the curb. But when we finish watching that, we're going to start back watching Criminal Minds. And, um, so, yeah, I just got through cleaning and my hands, man, I wish I could smell my hands. They smell so good. I just got through the hubby here, put up our blinds today. So he did blinds. He put the blinds up. My black blind. And I had to clean the top of the, uh, the air conditioning right here and all that. And I made me some cleaning water. Now you know this is an at-home mom thing for real. When you you when you get all when you just like you know like your cleaning water, you don't be want to throw it away. I made some Fabuloso and did uh dishwashing liquid on my little sponge and my little uh paper towel to dry it off. Man, it smell. Ugh, smell real good. I'm done now. I'm going around here trying to find something to clean. I cleaned my dress off with it and everything. And I'm like, dang, I want to pull that water out. It smells so good. I, I love the way Fabuloso smell. And this is the can I use. So, yeah. I like this one. The, um, lavender. So, yeah. Who got to do something with this, uh, jug? 
This is my second time asking. Marina wrote her scripture. Who need a word for today? Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5 and 1. And she just wrote that today. So, yeah. He put the girls curtain up. Y'all gonna need hook for the uh the thing right here. Y'all got both of them. Yeah. So he put that up today. This means empty. He put the sunny blind up. He put this. This was on our back deck. And George gonna have to clean that out. You gonna have to clean your window out, son. He put that up today. And uh Why I use the bathroom? I've been drinking a lot of water. Cause it was hot in this basement. So this is what me and the girlies did today. So these stay blinds, his blinds. He did that. He put the boxes over here in the corner. This is just some empty stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. You know, I'm gonna find something to do with my bin, though. These boxes. I need to push it down some, but these boxes are heavy. And these, they homeschooling stuff. I got a lot of homeschooling books. My hair stuff. You got the sun. Books. Curtains. Sheets and comforters, me and my sheets. No, I'm throwing all that away, I'll let go. What's in there? I don't think so. I don't think that Walmart big uh that I don't know what's in there, but it's a label. And games. Games. Like kitchen stuff. It's a picnic basket. So Oh, it's the other way. I got a little paper plate holders and stuff now. All my kids trophy trophies over the years. More kitchen stuff. But we're gonna buy some racks and place this stuff on racks. I'm gonna buy me a big book shelf and place all my books on the bookshelf down here. These are my pictures and stuff in here. And this stuff I'm going to hang up. My corner shelves, the girls' letters, they name on it, and some pictures I want to hang up. These are robes. I need some more hooks. These more books. And these are coats. And basically these are hats and scarves and stuff for the winter. So yeah, this is what we did. It looked much better than what it did. These are my old blinds. I'm just probably get rid of them. These are my grandbaby's car seat. And I use this right here to sit some stuff on. I don't think I'm through organizing it yet, but it was just to get clear the stuff out the totes over here in the boxes. So yeah, she ain't cleaned that off. And, and this right here, it's what I had left, but I got tired. And I said, I'll finish it later on. Place this stuff. Uh, it's a bin. I really want it in here, but he got to organize that. We did our part. And that's the um, hat chair and the table. And it go to a bed right there. Really that bed right there. Huh? So... Hubby put his rack up. Now he just got to organize this part. All right. Love you, bye. George, you want with you? No. You coming back this way? Yeah, I'm He could take stuff to the thrift store. So this right here, my shoes. You got a lint on it? I'm going to play some of my... That stuff that's on the defreezer, 
later on the day, I'm going to put it back here. I'm going to move that my bucket. And I'm going to put this stuff up here and place some of that stuff right there. This I already clean. And yeah, I wash Friday. So, I wash my shoes and the Sonny done got to land on my shoes. Because he just finished washing. The black girl, put some respect on him. He got that rib stick he don't even use. So, this is his fire, y'all. We did ass. It's a big path, I swear. So, yeah, that was a lot of work. And I frustrated. I broke like two candles. <sighs> candles. That one I had a real long time. And just like when we used to have power outages, I used them for that. But still, had to sweep up glass. She ain't cut her finger. Whew. Hey, it's bad, bro. She ain't cut her finger. Because we had to throw the bag. We had garbage bags. Then little save a lot of bags. We used for garbage bags. And we put the glass, broken glass inside the bag. I don't know what she did. I don't know how she do it. But she did it. She cut her finger on the tuna can Friday. So... We gonna ban that spirit in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we got time for that. Like, girl, you better quit. You gonna need stitches out the way. So yeah, later on, that stuff y'all saw in the deep fryer, use bathroom. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Had to take a water break. So yeah, I was drinking a lot of water and stuff. While I was down. Now I got hot. So I'm basically through with that area. He still got a few more things he need to do. Well, he got corner shelves to put up. Shelves in their room to put up. In the girls' rooms to put up. And I got a few more pictures and stuff I want to hang. But I do it as I go. Tomorrow, I don't know, I'm supposed to get my grandbabies Friday. This Friday. Before school started back. My back itching. So yeah, peeps, that's what's been happening over here. But I feel good about the basement. I did the best. I just have stuff. I, I just have stuff. You know, and they say it's an attic right, it's an attic right here, but by the bathroom, I don't, I don't, I don't do attics like that. I, mm -mm. But if the hubby wanna take some of that stuff, from in the basement, want to put it in the attic, he can, but that's, he was like, oh, you really did a good job, you did a good job on the basement, he said, I'm going to go buy you something to eat, I feel sorry for you, <laughs> really, <laughs> told you, I think I was built for this, I was made for this, y'all, for real, for real, I just hope we got, I hope and pray that God keep me with my health and strength because I like to do stuff. I like stuff to be done. I don't like waiting around on people to do stuff. And if it ever come a point in time that I have to do that, oh my gosh. I don't think my Heavenly Father going to do that to me because we got to understand it. <laughs> so that's why I always, you know, but this comes just from being, like being the oldest child and the oldest girl only girl i just had i had responsibilities growing up you know what i'm saying like responsibilities for real for real no technology we ain't have that type of stuff to take up no time barely tv and everything i had stuff to do <laughs> i was cooking cleaning man watching off after my two brothers my two little brothers I'll go outside when that was just my that's how we had free time. Not technology. We went outside to play. You know, my my mama did let me go outside and do stuff, but it is what it is. But I just like getting stuff done, y'all. Even though I might be tired afterwards, but I feel good about it. Now when I go downstairs and look in the basement, I be like, whoo. And I kinda swept it and everything. He'll be responsible for mopping it and stuff. You know, I just, I, I push it. I, I do what I can do, but once I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I ain't doing no more. And now as time go on, I, he want to put the books and bookshelves and 
Uh, I got a lot of kitchen stuff like deep fryers, uh, slow cookers downstairs in boxes and stuff, uh, uh, hot plate and he want to put all that on a rack instead of leaving it in the boxes. But I got a lot of stuff. So we'll see. And then I got games. I'm not getting rid of my games. I love my games. So I got like two totes of games. I got their homeschooling. All the homeschooling books I done bought over the years. Even before I started homeschooling, I was buying books just to teach them on my own. I got those. I kept those. So... I'm not getting rid of stuff like that because you know, never know my grand somebody might want to homeschool uh, one of my grandkids or something. I will pass them books books on. I done spent a lot, a lot, a lot of money on books, y'all. And I just uh got Sharon ordered her some off of Amazon for her class for freshman year. And she wanted to take French, so we're gonna do French this year. Start September the 6th. And we got phonics awareness. I forgot this for some class. Bird analysis, I think for English maybe. And then we got math. She's just gonna have basic math. And then one of her electives is art. And with what art we gonna do drawing. So I gotta go pick up some the drawing supplies. So four classes gonna have books. Three classes gonna be dealing with reports and PowerPoints. So I don't have a list of her classes right off hand. I don't even want my video to be extra long, y'all. But yeah, she got literalist literacy analysis. That's why I got the English finance book for her. She got practical math. She got physical science. She gonna do reports slash PowerPoints for that class. She got world history. PowerPoints, reports, uh, introduction to culinary arts, which is going to be, that's an elective, which is going to be like PowerPoints, re, re, um, uh, reports, and she got French, that's her real language, I bought a book for that, gym, and art, which is drawing, and so yeah, I just went and got her little schedule together, so I've been, I got Rena. She just kind of going to take up sharing 8th grade stuff. I just got to get an 8th grade writing book. I got to remember to get that. So, yeah. Them her homeschooling 8th grade, I mean, ninth grade freshman classes and stuff. And I went and did, organized all my little folders for them and stuff. So, I'm about ready. Yeah, I'm about ready, y'all. So... I just be, I just like to utilize my days, my time. And so, I, like I told y'all, I spend a lot of my, I do my stuff early in the morning. In the morning, because that's the time when I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm like a, a car. You keep driving it, it gonna, you know, get closer to E. That's how my energy level is. So, like, around a certain time of the day, I'm through. Definitely about five o'clock. I don't do ain't mm -mm, what I do all my cleaning, whatever I, I and then then I think about it the day before. I I go to when I lay down to go to bed. I just go over things like okay, this tomorrow I want to do this. Tomorrow I want to do that. Okay, and then after I give so I, I've been fasting all this week, so I, my energy trying to build back up from that. So I'm like, but I got to push it, you know, because I just can't stand cluttering this, y'all. It just does something to my nerves, my mind, my brain. I've been ahead of nervous breakdown, break <laughs> a mental breakdown over here. So, and then I got to do my painting. I, I, the paint ain't that bad because we're going to take turns painting trim, you know, the wall trim. We're going to take turns doing that. Me and the girls, so I have a wall to do. They have a wall to do. I do one. You know, I take a break. They do one. And Sharon take a break. Rena do one. And that's how we're going to get it done. And then I want to do the uh, the banisters going down to the basement. It ain't, it ain't too, too much. The hubby got to paint the porch. We ain't got to the paint yet. We still working on the inside first. And putting up stuff first. So, yeah, y'all, that's how my day going. And uh, tomorrow is my uh, week to cook. 
Yeah. So, I didn't even have to bring y'all along my journey of cleaning that basement because I'm like, I just went into focus mode. Mm. I, 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 I like pop out a sailor, you know, he ate his spinach. I thought he had my little bowl of noodles and my water. I'm like, come on, y'all, let's do this. And they helped a lot, though, you know, but I be the one had to organize. I threw a lot, I got rid of a lot of stuff, y'all, because it was a lot, a lot of totes down there in boxes. So I had to get rid of a lot of stuff that I was kind of like, uh, but I'm like, whatever. It is what it's just stuff. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't talk to y'all enough. And uh, how they say, what's the saying? Teamwork make the dream work. For real, for real. We'll team up in here. Cooking, cleaning, all that. Going out together, eating, going to the movies. We do it all together and everything. So, yeah, God didn't bless me. He blessed me with these kids for something. They, especially a lot of girls. Well, oh, they gone. The, the, the what? <laughs> I have them sewing and knitting up here if I could. I don't know how to sew and knit. I have to learn how to do it first before I can teach it to them. Or maybe they can pick it up on their own. I don't know. They make me some curtains or something or something. Yeah, yeah. So, on that note, I hope everybody had a productive weekend a safe weekend a blessed weekend you see how the order i went out of order because that's what's on my man right now <laughs> and, uh i'll probably put this video up tomorrow monday and uh yeah on that note y'all peace and love share some and i'm praying for all of y'all out there that's going through y'all tests and trials and tribulations but know this know this know this this too shall pass and that's for real for real just be strong and even if you just got to open up the book of proverbs open up the book of psalms and read you a start from the beginning of the book whatever book and just read a chapter a verse to keep you encouraged and uh and, and so you just want to focus on your situation as is because when god doing stuff yeah you know when we sin us we ugly we stank in his nostrils but when god finished making us molding us pruning us then we come forth the spirit of god and that's what everything your marriage with with you just you as a person as a human being making them old and you making you old they take time y'all and that takes some years so don't throw in the towel because of the making and the molding and the pruning and the, you know we not the, the the bad stuff you know just endure and find something positive to focus on for real for real and me i read self-help books um i mean whatever god lay in your spirit pray about it because he will lay something in your spirit to do or give somebody a word to give you read the book of psalms always helped me through rough times the book of job really helped me through some really dark moments in my life and i'm serious and everything so yeah i'm gonna leave you with that and uh and i see y'all <clears throat> oh when i see y'all i holla bye and i love y'all man you don't know the half of it nope. i don't know i think i forgot to stop it now i just be on the go should have been there when you needed me really i meant to be this wasn't even the plan but it all just went differently it just went differently